kind of like the same thing. Um, so if we're looking at cosine, kind of the same formula. However, which quadrant is 5 pi over 8 in? Ah, it's in the second quadrant. So when your half angle is in the second quadrant, for cosine, that means you're going to use the negative radical. Okay? So we have 5 pi over 8. Since that's in the second quadrant, cosine is going to be negative. And this would be 1 plus the cosine of theta. Well, if 5 pi over 8 is equal to theta over 2, then theta equals 10 pi over 8, which is 5 pi over 4. Do we know what the cosine of 5 pi over 4 is? Negative square root of 2 over 2. OK, good. So hopefully we'll uh, brush up there on that uh, unit circle for you guys. Again, you guys can see it's kind of the same process over and over again. That goes to a negative. Those divide out. Square root of 2 over 4. We can break that up. Um, and just rewrite that, since I already did this once, we can rewrite that as a 2 in front. And then you guys can go from there. Gotcha. All right, I'll do one more, and then I'm going to have you guys uh, 